Hello guys, I am Yasser Ali. In this tutorial, we will discuss BOP hydraulic circuit in coil tubing power pack. And for the explanation purpose, we will consider hydraulic model of coil tubing power pack. This particular tutorial is in continuation with our previous tutorial that is hydraulic system in coil tubing power pack. So before going ahead, we will just recap our previous tutorial so that we can build a continuity among our tutorials so in our previous tutorial we will discuss we have discussed that hydraulic system is the core of coil tubing unit and it is the power pack which is used to pro produce the required hydraulic power in hydraulic power pack three drive stations that is three main pumps are installed which are double vein pump piston pump and triple vein pump double vein pump provide power to two circuits that is BOP circuit and auxiliary circuit. Piston pump provide drive to the injector circuit and the triple vein pump provide drive to the priority circuit, level one overhead circuit and rail circuit. So in this particular tutorial we will discuss the BOP circuit. So let's go to the BOP hydraulic circuit but before let's see the specification of the power pack which we are using for the explanation purpose as we have discussed the ma manufacturer for this power pack is hydraulic and its assembly number is CE100292 and uh, its type is high pressure open loop that is the power pack we are going to describe we are going to discuss is a high pressure open loop type power pack just have uh, one clarification that the hydraulic circuit we are going to discuss is based on what I have found physically on this particular power pack. It is quite possible that the power pack you are dealing with have some other components as well. So consider this tutorial as a basic guideline to understand the topic. To understand any specific power pack, I will recommend to go through the original equipment manufacturer manual, OEM manual. So here is the BOP hydraulic circuit. Like all hydraulic circuits, this BOP hydraulic circuit starts from the hydraulic tank. From the hydraulic tank, I will go to the double vein pump that is BOP hydraulic pump through strainer. Strainer will remove the external particles if present in the hydraulic oil. Then this double vein pump or the BOP pump will produce a certain pressure depending on the model. To control this pressure according to the requirement we will use relief valve that is the pressure produced by this hydraulic pump will be controlled with the help of this relief valve and the 3000 psi will be diverted to the main circuit that is BOP circuit and the extra pressure will be relieved back to the hydraulic tank. Let's see again hydraulic tank will provide oil to the hydraulic pump this hydraulic pump will provide a certain pressure greater than the 3000 psi with the help of relief valve we will maintain 3000 psi for our circuit and the extra pressure will go back to the hydraulic tank then this 3000 psi with the help of this needle valve will be controlled and uh, when this needle valve is in the closed position pressure will be diverted to the check valve then accumulators and then to the ultimate components when this needle valve is open pressure will be drained back to the hydraulic tank after this needle valve through the check valve pressure will come to this accumulators pressure that is hydraulic oil flow and pressure both will come to these accumulators on the accumulators we have a pressure gauge which will show the pressure of that particular circuit when it is uh, on full rpm and uh, if it have reached to the maximum value it will be 3000 psi from the bop accumulators with the help of this pressure drain manifold we can control again if this man the position of this knob is on the drain pressure will be moved back to the hydraulic tank and when it is on the pressure side pressure will go to the hose panel and for the hydraulic unit the hose number 36 is for the BOP so this is the hydraulic circuit now we will see with the help of the components that is 
with the help of pictures here we can see this particular line the flow for the BOP circuit is provided by a vein driven vein pump driven by the diesel engine as we have already discussed that the BOP hydraulic circuit gets pressure from the double vein pump which is getting dry from the diesel engine this is a dedicated circuit used solely for functioning the BOP so here we can see as we have seen in our previous circuit that hydraulic oil is stored in the hydraulic tank from this tank through the strainer oil will be given to the hydraulic pump so this this pump is the BOP pump here we have another view okay and this double vein pump provide drive to two circuits that is BOP circuit and auxiliary circuit so timing will just focus on the BOP circuit here it is written the model of the pump that this is a Denison pump and other details are mentioned which you can discuss later and here we have a pressure gauge to show the pressure of the BOP circuit then this one is for the auxiliary this outlet is for the auxiliary circuit and this outlet is for the BOP circuit these are the different pictures of the same pump okay from this relief valve here we have the relief valve this is a double vein pump as we can see this is a double vein pump and this is the relief valve manifold with this relief valve we can adjust the pressure and uh, in this particular power pack this relief valve is set on the 3000 psi that is the 3000 psi pressure will go to this pressure line and the extra pressure will be drained towards the tank see this is another picture this relief valve is set on 3000 psi 3000 psi will go towards pressure hose and the extra pressure will go back to the drain we can see all this discussion here so we discussed that the hydraulic tank will provide oil to the pump then from the pump with the help of this relief valve 3000 psi will be diverted will be given to the circuit and the extra pressure will be relieved back to the hydraulic tank here we can see so up till now we have reached this particular point here from here with the help of the needle valve manifold we will control again we will discuss in the next slide but uh, before let's see this particular statement the hydraulic tank provides hydraulic oil to vein pump we have seen which produces a certain pressure with the help of the relief valve 3000 psi is pressure is maintained for BOP circuit the flow rate of BOP circuit is 14 GPM 14 gallons per minute so here is this hose is coming from the relief valve written as supply hose this is the needle valve manifold which have the two outlet one is towards the drain one is towards the pressure this is the front side when we will close this needle valve this outlet will be closed and pressure will go towards the accumulator this is a pressure hose okay this is the drain hose when will when this needle valve is in open position all the pressure which is coming from the relief valve that is 3000 psi will be drained back to the tank when this needle valve is in the closed position pressure will come and will go towards accumulators and will have the reading on this particular pressure gauge so this pressure hose is shown over here which is then coming to the accumulators and then these four accumulators are interconnected we can see in the next slide pressurized hydraulic oil is then supplied to the accumulators through needle valve from the this particular hose on which it is written pressure is this particular hose okay and then from here with the help of needle valve we have the two path one towards accumulator and one towards drain as i already explained when this needle valve in the closed position it will close the drain path and will provide pressure to the accumulators when it is in open position this will open the drain path and all the pressure will be diverted back towards the hydraulic tank and this pressure hose is then coming towards the accumulators we we'll see in the next slide see we can we have seen from the needle valve through the check check valve the pressure is coming to the accumulators now see the accumulator circuit accumulator interconnection so four accumulators are installed in this power pack so pressure is coming to the first accumulator then with the help of this T pressure is coming to the second accumulator then with the help of T pressure is coming to the third accumulator and then to the fourth accumulator okay these are different pictures different views for the clarification purpose this is the hose with the help of T 
flow is coming towards this second accumulator then with the help of this t flow is coming to the third accumulator and then to the fourth accumulator this is the fourth accumulator from the fourth accumulator with the help of this t this hose is then diverted is then to this manifold on this manifold when this knob is on the pressure side pressure will be given at this hose at hose panel number 36 hose when this is on the bottom side all the pressure will be drained back to the tank as we have seen in our original circuit here we can see the uh, second hose from this t okay from the top of the accumulator the second hose which is actually providing reading to this uh, gauge so when we we'll close this needle valve pressure will come to the accumulators and will provide pressure at this hose number 36 on which it is written bop supply so here we can see from the accumulators this pressure and drain manifold when with the help of pressure drain manifold we can control pressure towards the hose panel number 36 or towards the hydraulic tank so this was our bp hydraulic circuit we have discussed i think in much more detail that hydraulic circuit will start from the hydraulic tank hydraulic i will come from the hydraulic tank to the double vane pump through the strainer then with the help of a relief valve we will maintain 3000 psi with the help of needle valve we we'll can uh, close we can control the bop circuit that is when it is in the closed position pressure will go to the main circuit when it is in the open position pressure will go back to the tank then through the check valve pressure come to the accumulators and from the next to the accumulator we have a next uh, manifold pressure and drain manifold and ultimately pressure will come to the hose panel that is hose number 36 so that was all discussion about bop hydraulic circuit present in power pack hydraulic model open loop circuit so that's it if you have any question you can ask in the comment box thank you very much see you in the next tutorial